All right, so let's take a look at Authorit. We're going to take the grand tour of the Authorit interface, and we're going to go through the six main components of the Authorit library. Now, regardless of whether you are logging into your production library, your test library, uh, your dev library, the interface is always going to be exactly the same. It's always going to be comprised of these six main components. The only difference is going to be the objects that may be inside of that library. may be different from one library to the other, but the interface is always going to be exactly the same. All right, now starting off here at the very top, we've got the author icon or author jewel depending on whether or not you're a fan of Word 2007. Uh, I like to refer to this as the big A. So if you hear me say click the big A, I am referring to the author at icon in the top left hand portion of your screen. It's not just an icon, there's actually some things going on behind that icon just like there is in uh, Word or Office 2007 and we'll go through those different settings in a few moments. Second area that we're going to take a look at is our ribbon view. These ribbons or tabs depending on your preference, uh, these will display the various functions that can be performed inside of the author at library. And uh, they're, they're basically your toolbars. Now, also keep in mind that anything in your ribbon is also available in a right-click menu as well. So as you're getting comfortable with the author at interface, feel free to do some right-clicking. And there's generally a right-click menu no matter where you are in the author at interface. Generally, it's a shortcut to the features that you see inside of a ribbon. Third area we're going to take a look at is our folder view or folder pane, that's P-A-N-E. Uh, this is how we organize our objects inside of the library. We're going to take a closer look at that folder structure in a few moments. Down here in area number four, we have some additional panes in the author. End. We've got our search pane and our publishing pane as well. We'll talk about uh, the benefits of using both of those different panes. Area number five is our object list. Now what's going on here is when you click a folder on the left, you then see what objects are in that folder in area number five here. So this is our list of objects that happen to live in the folder we have selected on the left hand side. Area number six here, this is our preview area. You can see a preview of the contents of an object that is selected from the object list. You can turn that preview on or off. Now right now we have X1000 selected. This is a file object and if you can tell by kind of squinting and taking a look at that tiny little icon on your GoToMeeting window, you'll see that that is the icon for a file object, which is a type of object that holds graphics. So we know we're looking at the preview of our X1000 file object here. Also want to point out, notice how some of these icons have this orange halo around them. All right. The reason for that is because they are currently selected. This particular halo is around our object preview icon, which is the reason why this preview area is displaying at the bottom of the screen. We also have the print icon selected. So what we're seeing is actually the print preview of that object. We'll find uh, in another module that you can have a different graphic associated with the print help and web tab. So as you click through print help and web, this preview of the graphic may actually change if the graphic is different in each one of those tabs. So 
preview is a quick way to take a look at the contents of the object without actually having to open it.